right, guys, let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm not excited about this uh, pack one pick one here. Honestly, this pack is kind of poop. We could try like expressive iteration and just for try to force that deck a little bit. Um, none of the lessons are great. I think the Brackish Trudge is one of the better cards in the pack, which makes me a little bit sad. The backside of this is no good, right? Return up to two, future land. You know, maybe the rare is the better one. I don't even know. I, I don't know. Late game getting pests is kind of cute. I don't know. We'll take the rare, I guess. Certainly don't love it. Um, Cultivate is a good card. And the Witherbloom Pledge Mage. These are shit packs. Oh my gosh. This feels awful. I think we just take the Cultivate, though. The Inkling Summoning is maybe... Maybe on our radar. Oof. All right, the Maelstrom Muse is a very, very good card. Um, and like we're seeing Spectral Mage, Summoning. Honestly, the Maelstrom Mage is better than both of our current cards. Maybe I should have I should have taken the iteration, I think. <laughs> I mean, you have no idea what you're going to get past, of course, but I think I'm pretty happy to pivot. Maelstrom Muse is better than everything else. So, and it's a sign that maybe it's open to the right of us. Oof. Okay, so there's the Historian, and also the Heated Debate, and the Masterpiece. So we're, we are open here in this direction. I'm going to take the Heated Debate. Uh, it is interesting to note that the Field Historian is there. Hopefully we can pick up some Masterpieces. Storm. But yeah, fourth pick, Heated Debate, is pretty impressive. Uh, this is kind of a late environmental science. Okay, so our first two packs were poop, but like we're getting good stuff, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna take this mage. I think it's very good for us. Um, all of these things are also good. I think that the environmental sciences is probably the better of the two cards, but if I have my way, I would like to just be two colors, have all of the goodies. So part of the reason I take this mage too is to like limit the signals that this is an open lane so that way, pack two, we get punished less on the way back. All right, come on, sweet Prismari deck, let's go. Come on, baby. Show it to me. <laughs> um, eh? <laughs> there is... We could take a random lesson. We could take a duel, a summoning. Can't imagine there's a world in which we would want the summoning. But this lesson is really garbage. Um, we can take the splash land as an option. We can take the twin scroll shaman. Just get a body. This is not great, but silver quill looks open, but none of these cards are super, super powerful. The humiliate, probably the best card. We have two three drops. I'm gonna take the lore hold campus. I don't hate Reject. I also don't hate Befuddle Frog. All right, two Lorehold Campus. If we open any white bombs, we are good to go there. What do people mean when they say when the, they say splash in Magic? It means that you are like two colors with a splash. It means just a little. Like if you were to have like a splash in your drink, right? You know, add a, a splash or a dash or whatever. Um, this is kind of nice for us. Only using a little bit of the other thing. Reconstruct history? I don't think that card's very good, if it's the card I'm thinking about. I might have overlooked something, because I'm going a little fast. All right, this is our second tendrils. Feels bad. Um, this is probably an environmental science. That's a good card. Um, Vortex Runner, Aerialist, uh, even the Adept Soothsayer I'm a big fan of because it lets you pitch your stuff late, but none of those cards are not replaceable. Um, oh, no, no, the Prismari Apprentice. The Prism I didn't even see him. I'm, I'm happy to take this. This is the kind of deck I want to build. Pildrop Warden and the Dusk Speaker. Dusk Speaker is very good. 
Um, if it if it lives on the board, you'll always have like, you know, getting one trigger off of this means a ton of card advantage late. Even if you attack it into something and it if it trades, you're beyond happy. If it dies and gets you two playables, draws you two cards, it's also very reasonable. Um, I would definitely take this over the uh, Pillar Drop Warden, I think. I, I, I know I would, because I'm going to. All right, so our first big spell. This is one of my least favorite of the big spells. I would much rather have the, um, like, deal five damage and get a card, or the uh, experimental whatever. I think this rare, it's, you know, bad, I think. I'm kind of tempted to take the summoning over the explosive welcome. I don't actually know if that is remotely correct. I actually don't have very much experience with the explosive welcome, but I think that the summoning is just very, very good. So our first learn, possibly with the study, I'm going to just take the expressive iteration. I think that card's very good. Rise would be worth splashing. I don't like splashing double colored cards if I can avoid it. Um, the Battle Seer. I don't really know how, like, I've gotten got by this card. We have no learner lesson, so I'm, like, kind of tempted to take it. We're doing okay creature count wise. We're a little bit light on the removal. I would run like these two. Access tunnels also like a reasonable thing to play, but I think I'm gonna take this as an emergency. I have, again, very little experience with this card. So uh, we can take a two drop because we kind of need it. We don't really need threes. We have a couple. We'll take this card is fine. Uh, <laughs> Frost Trickster or Storm. I love me some Frost Tricksters, let me tell ya. But we don't have a ton in the way of removal. I think this is one of the ones I just gotta make a, a decision on. I'm gonna take this, I suppose. It gets cheaper, because it costs five. We can cast it on four with the Spectacle. Um, you know, the Muse is good with it. I'm not gonna play Stone Ring take a teach by example just in case i don't think we'll use it i tend to not run that card our three drop slot is fine our four drop slot is fine or even our two drop slot is also fine i'll just take wolf ortox runner is not as good in this deck that's more of a quandrix card i also don't really know how i feel about Negate. I think it's better in this format than in most, but I typically don't like to run negates. Oh, this is best of three. I forgot. Is this best of three? Yeah, I'll take a negate. Uh, that's an on-color mythic. It's pretty good for us. If we cast this once, I'll be very happy. <laughs> All right, let's get hooked up on red like we thought we would. Pack two. I'm sorry, pack one, we were seeing a ton of Prismari stuff. You know, pick four heated debates. So let's hope that that continues. I love a uh, um, elemental masterpiece. We didn't see him going around as late as we typically do. This is a card that I think gets overlooked a lot. But I'm happy to take one here. Come on, come on. I need the things. Uh, Tesseract's Gambit is probably just the choice. We don't have any card draw, really, except for the Dusk Speaker. Really need Rutha. So we actually don't have a ton of the things that make Rutha great. Like, you know, I've had like Rutha, double Rutha, four Heated Debate deck, and it's just busted. I mean, a Rutha would be great. I would love one, don't get me wrong. But um, we don't have as many cheap spells to like really make her shine. She would be great though, I agree. 
it would be good. But now I'll just take another heated debate. And now I really do want to root the pick four. So back to back uh, pick four heated debates here. The people to our right are very uh, generous in our colors. The left pack two was not as good for sure. I think I would rather have the Pledge Mage over the Lorehold Pledge Mage. We could splash white. I don't think we have enough stuff for it. We have a Tome Shredder and just the uh, spell removal thing. Yeah, I think the Prismari Pledge Mage might be the thing that makes the cut, if anything. Come on, hook it up with something late. I think we can get rid of the Reject. At least one of them. A brainstorm is kinda eh. So we could take the subtraction and play it over this over the dispute. We could take the annihilation, but then we only we're running then that we're running the academic dispute here. And I think that the card we would much rather get. I'm gonna take this. I don't think brainstorm is that good in limited. I don't think we need another two drop. Just rare draft here, I think. Another late masterpiece. Our four drop slot is fine, right? I'll take the masterpiece. We have two spectacle mages, a maelstrom muse, and the uh, grinning Ing Ignis? Ignis. So we're likely to be able to cast these, you know, at a discounted rate. Uncommons for vault value. Creature count is 13. I don't think either of those things make the cut. I'm just going to take the rare. Wow, this is super late. Jeez. Well, I think this is good enough to where I'm just going to take it. Do I want more of these? I think the answer is yes. <laughs> With three big spells? Probably. It's a cute deck. We could get rid of reject and teach by example, probably. What do you guys think? Is this the... Is this the 40? Feels like the 40. Uh, this is fine. We have we have card draw and everything, so I'm happy with this. Into Maelstrom Muse will be pretty spicy. No lash, baby. No lash. Oh shit, sorry. I moved. Why didn't you guys tell me I was over there? I moved it when we were talking about the uh, daily deal thing, and I forgot. <laughs> Someone probably did mention it, and I didn't see. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. <clears throat> well, I definitely don't want to give them this. So we can play, we can be mana efficient. Play the Ingus here. Ignis, whatever. I think this is pretty good. Okay. They got grabbed their splash color with it. I need to play slower. Well, actually, you know. Quite a lot. Or do we have six mana? We're two mana short now. We play this. Come on, let it resolve. Uh-oh. 
I guess that could be worse. <clears throat> yeah, that's actually kind of fine. <clears throat> I'm probably going to start with the iteration next turn. Pledge Mage iteration. Start getting in. into your hand. This into my library and exile this. trade this with a mage hunter. Although I probably should have made that decision sooner. Bert, thank you so much. I'm also happy for a chump. Bert, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate that. That's awesome. We get some hype emotes in the channel, guys, for the, um, the donation. Also, clicks with a gifted sub. Thank you, hun. Very much appreciated. So, I kind of like Gambit free combat. So we so we can attack for this. My opponent's not doing anything, so it's a bit weird. I feel like a removal spell is coming. But if they remove the 4-4, they can trade here, that's okay. Okay. I am okay with all of these things dying, except the mage. So they get to go back and get something that costs less. So a three mana creature. <laughs> Which again seems fine. We have card advantage. Oh shit, okay, that's not fine. <laughs> that's that's way better. Shit. <laughs> boots. We are winning the race here, so that's nice. So they're gonna draw and pitch. Ooh, hello, bookworm. And an arch, okay. So if we go here... They can't block the Apprentice. So if we cast a five mana spell, they just die to the Apprentice. Oh, I guess not. They, they live to that. Oh shit, Crocodile. Hmm. Four, five, six. So we're definitely playing this. We're definitely playing this. And then next turn, we're gonna Opus. So 
so they can gain a life with the arch. They can block sack it, and then they come back and crack me with the alligator, and I have bad blocks. Well, they can crack me with the alligator with a flying anyway, so fuck it, let's go. As long as the grinning lives, we're okay here. Right? And we need them to not have like a negate. But they've already shown us a counter spell, which is a very strange splash, but whatever. Four, five, six, seven, eight mana, which is exactly correct. Okay, so this is gonna let them draw a bunch of cards. I actually don't even know what I have. I probably shouldn't have shown him this. I could have done the math, maybe, and uh, <laughs> tried to get there without it. But we didn't have like another spell, so I'm not really sure. Um, <clears throat> what did we see that negate is worth? We saw they had their own counter spell. We didn't really see much in the way of like fight spells. Um, we didn't see removal, really. They had the thing that turned our dude into a 4-4, which killed them, which I'm kind of fine with. Um, yeah, I don't think we need the negate at all. They put me on the play? That's interesting. I really, really hope we can magma opus on five with the mage into the muse. That would be pretty spicy. counter spell so i have a feeling this maelstrom use might get might eat it like why didn't they cast this right like they we know they've got it if i had anything else i might actually just wait but what else could it be it could be like a pop quiz i think i think this is getting countered if we had anything else we could cast i would probably i would just i would cast a two drop um and not be mana efficient here at all. The other option is just like try to hold open heated debate. But like better than Opus get encountered. Well, we would definitely play around that, but yeah. It's weird that the blue is the splash and they just had double blue both games. Not going to complain I'm up a game. But it's just it's so weird to play around this. It definitely would if we had anything though. Scry two top. I don't like that at all. They have a stick. What is that? Or one green? You can't. 
it's gotta be the pump spell plus two plus two or something because you can't um snakes can veil somebody else's creature i don't think what is the text on snakeskin veil to find out plus it's target creature you control i think gets plus one plus one and hexproof so yeah it's it's drought or charge through I think we can attack with this. If it's plus two, plus two, that's okay. If it's, oh no, they don't have green. We could heated debate this in response. If something crazy happens. Sacrifice draw a card, you got it. Two damage. We can Tezzeret's Gambit and hold open the Heated Debate. One, two, three, four, five. Next turn, we're going to Opus for sure. So we probably just want to play the Tome Shredder. Unless they kill my Spectacle Mage. Or hold open blue mana again. Because so we did see the counter spell pretty early both games, so they could have more than one. Alright, maybe I will wait. Should have played a land, but it's okay. Um, so I'm going to heated debate that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold the island now, just in case they've got discard two. <clears throat> yeah, if we played the land pre-combat there, we could have hit them in the face for four and tapped down their four four, and that would have been fine. But I was too scared. They had too much stuff. They don't have double blue. If they have a negate, they still die, so... That doesn't do anything, right? Because we just tapped it, we didn't do damage to it. So it does not die. All right. <clears throat> we did it, team. Good job. Go us. So I will be doing that later today, and then we're going to come back. We're going to finish this. We're going to do viewer submitted standard lists, if you or historic, if you'd like. Um, you guys are welcome to to submit a list. So I do hope you guys will come back, check it out. If not, make sure you hit the follow button. All right. So they're on the play. They got a little bit of an aggressive hand here. I'm not a huge fan of it. Oh boy, that card's good. card's very good. I will trade. I don't like it, but I will trade. I could have, I guess I could have waited. I mean, most likely you're going to environmental science. They don't have to equip the quill. Um. But 
but most likely they're gonna environmental science and just hit me again anyway, so... Slower game is probably better. It depends. Um, you know, the, the screw usually beats the flood in the long game, so it just depends. And they're already proving to have better, stronger cards than us. Um, so we can be mana efficient and just cast the storm here. But we might need that. It's kind of hard to say. I could attack first and see if they let me hit them. We might... Um, well... Yeah, yeah, this is actually fine. I actually like this. Into this. At least we get to play two things, keep the tempo up. And then now we just storm whatever and then try to just go off on them. Summoning, okay. Oof. We can't cast anything else, which makes me kind of sad. I'm gonna just go here. They can't cast this and a removal spell. If they cast a removal spell and hit me for three, it's not the end of the world. I'm hoping they just play the Inkling and call it a day. We're one red source away from being able to cast both of these, which is really cute. Okay. Ooh, that gives vigilance. Oh no. If they do it though, so they can actually gain a bunch of life. Okay. I don't actually need to attack with this to make it work. Hmm. No attack there? Well, if they if they trade there, we still have like a winning board position. I probably would have put two plus one because I was tapped out. So put two plus one plus one counters and attack in with vigilance. And then they've got a way to stop me on the crackback too. I mean, it's bad against removal, but this is a really really good spot for us now. how greedy I want to be with this guy. If they... It eats two of their things. I'm 
gonna try and get a land. They can gain a bunch of life with the Silver Quill Pledge Mage this turn, or this next turn if they if it lives. But we've like taken out most of their stuff. Kind of a shame I can't cast that. Yep. I thought they were going to put the counters on this. So this has lifelink. I don't need... So they gain 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They can block on the way back. I'm a little concerned about a board clear, but I don't think we're playing around that. <clears throat> Their deck is certainly the more aggressive of the two. <clears throat> we didn't show them the opus, we showed them double masterpiece. We just really don't have much in the way of sideboard stuff. Uh, what did they show us? They showed us plus one plus one counters and um, and whatchamacallit. Maybe negate is good against like the silver quill, the poet's quill. What would we get rid of? Like a tome shredder? Because I think they're the aggressor. Our deck is more red than it is blue. I think we have to mulligan this close two two drops on the draw pretty close simply disturbing thank you so much i'm gonna be greedy and keep this i don't like it but we have this right we can we can pitch this Simply disturbing. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs, hun. I really do appreciate that. That is seriously awesome. So if they attack with a pledge mage and they've got an instant of some sort, we have a befuddle frog and we also have heated debate. Um... If we heated debate that now, yeah, let's heated debate that. So they can't, um, they can't learn. They'll be able to hit us, but that's okay. Thank you. 
double double poets quill both games and they got that instead of equipping okay okay i could double block here but then they kill they kill my flyer i'm gonna say no no blocks So they could Poet's Quill the Flyer, and then we can Befuddle Frog it. Okay, so they're giving this what now? Two plus one plus one counters. Which means we have to do this. strike lifelink so if we tr if we triple block this if they first strike down one thing or or two or the buffalo frog and the mage and that's okay would make the Lorehold Pledge Mage go to a whatever first strike. But I'm hoping it's not a pump spell. So long as it's not a pump spell, the Befuddle Frog will stop it. We can no longer stop the Shade Wing from attacking. That's unfortunate. That was a nice top deck. So our opponents are playing a lot of rears on us. So, what does this look like for us? Next turn we attack. Hey, thank you so much for the prime sub, hun. Really do appreciate that. Five, six, seven. Okay, so this is their turn, so they can't actually cast anything, which is kind of nice. I think we should kill the Shade Wing. Because it's the only thing that's flying that we can't really stop. So we do four damage to this, tap this. Scry top's pretty nice.
four, five, six, seven, eight. Four damage. Submit. Tap two permanence. Submit. So I think like an X5 now. Uh, so if they block the two biggest things, they go to 13. They get, take five, six, seven. They don't take enough. So we're going to go here. They take one. Yeah, a uh, three three toughness minion here is really bad for us. Beat us over time here. Ooh, God, their top decks are so good. attack anymore, but they can still drain every turn. And I can no longer um, kill their thing with the storm anymore. How do I kill it? I don't think I can. Oh, come on. Can you stop drawing gas for like a second? Jiminy Christmas, man. Actually, think we can win. It sucks. We were so close to you on that one attack. What did you top deck? Oh no, they top decked another trick. I know it.
don't think we have a choice. We're probably just dead. This gets us to one. They didn't have a trick. They just want to beat us with flyers. Okay, so now... I need liars. All right, back at 22 life. So gross. They have three flyers. If I had a removal spell, we would be okay. But we don't. It's unfortunate. <clears throat> This is sad. Dispute? <clears throat> I don't know. They do have some powerful flyers. It's it's weird because they're the aggressor, so the arcane subtraction is better, I think. But they do have some powerful flyers that we need answers to, but we do have enough answers. It's tough. I think... I think we might have opused too soon. But they had no cards in hand. Like, God damn it, they just drew... Just mono gas and I couldn't do anything about it. That damn poet's quill. I'll land, guys. Can we get there? Thank you. Much appreciated. I'm not really incentivized to go to four any faster, so I'm going to keep the masterpiece. I was hoping they'd put plus one, plus one counter on it. I have more removal in my hand, so I'm just gonna make sure that we don't get tempoed out here. I haven't seen plus two, plus two in Hexproof, so I don't think we need to worry about that too much. Environmental Sciences, you got it. try to hit a land. Put this in my hand. Or maybe I should get rid of the negate. Now let's put this in my hand. Put this in my library. Exile this. Play here. And play here. And then now we can Masterpiece. If we hit a land, we're fine. If we don't, we use the, the, the Duder here.
I just don't have another removal spell. Oh my god, triple poet's quill, come on! Uh. Attack first, I think I fucked up. advantage they're gonna hit me with the the thing here but four five six seven magma opus is eight so okay we can, we're gonna kill this next turn i think Eek! That's so much damage! I'm gonna play this. Hopefully they can't stop us from blocking. If we can block something here, we're okay. It's not great, but it's okay. I just need to turn. We can turn this around with the dust speaker. I can afford to take another hit here if we need to. I wanted to save, save the speaker. Pretty important, I think. Okay, good, we have all, we have perfect knowledge now. Ant attack. We can find our magma opus. Thank you. 
Scribe bottom, that's good. They block the two biggest things and take two, four, six, eight. It's pretty close. If they eat one of my they eat one of my grinning ingus that means they're not double blocking this which is okay Stopping me from playing both of these with that block. Two five drops. That was that was a smart block. They can go up to five. That was closer than I wanted it to be. Alright, sweet. So we're at the like break-ish even point. It's a little bit of a loss if we don't win any more. Um, three wins is just great profit. You get nine free packs at three wins. So not too shabby. I'd like to give a special thank you to those of you who have signed up for our Patreon. I couldn't make this content without you. Also to Cool Stuff Inc. and KMC Sleeves for supporting the channel as well. Definitely check them out and use our discount codes to support the channel.